Alright guys, what is going on and welcome back to episode number 5 of our Winnipeg Jets B AGM mode. And we're just about to go into the draft here, I just got the rest of the uh, playoffs completed. I don't even know who won the Stanley Cup here, it'll have a little annotation, it'll pop up. Uh, but our HL team didn't really do anything and we actually missed the playoffs this year with a record of 34, 37, and 11. So we have some work to do, the LA Kings are your Stanley Cup champions champions and your AHL Calder Cup champions it is my Vancouver Canucks farm team, the Utica Comets. All right, so LA won the Stanley Cup and uh, the Utica Comets won the Calder Cup. So we got a lot of work to do here in Winnipeg. We got to figure out our goaltending situation. We got to figure out our offense. We got to figure out our defense. We really got to figure out the whole nine yards here in Winnipeg. But there's a couple comments which I want to uh, look over really quickly. And the first of those comments comes from a guy named Freaks ZT. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Anyways, he said you should try to get a Danish center at some point in this GM mode. So you can have the deadly Danish line with Nikolai Elliers, uh, that Bjorkstrand guy, and insert random Danish centerman here. But that would be sick. The deadly Danes. Oh man, we have we actually have two of them. We have two deadly Danes right now. We got uh, Nikolai Elliers and that Bjorkstrand guy. And there's a couple people saying, you know, the Bjorkstrand he only gets good, you know, in our in random GM modes. But you know, I'm hoping. I'm praying that he gets to be as good as as uh, as I've seen him get to. I've seen him get to 92 overall, 93 overall. So I'm really putting my, my money on him. And the next one here comes from uh, Napoleon Dynamite's favorite food, Tater Tot 414. He says that Smith deal was a bad idea. He doesn't get any better. You know what? Maybe so. But if we can have an 83 overall sniper for a third line, I'm fine with that. Yeah, you know, the Smith maybe was kind of a dumb deal. Not really a dumb deal, but a deal that didn't really make all that much sense. But, you know, I wanted to make sure that we could, you know, put players on the ice that can score goals. And I know Rowie Smith is a sniper. And, you know, if he turns out to be a third line, sniper that's great doesn't really matter if he turns out to be you know a top tier person or not but uh, anyways let's go into the um, let's go into the retirements we got Yager Whitney Marty St. Louis Patty Ilya Shane Doan the magic man Pavel Datsu Koivu Gonchar Savard Pronger all these guys retired and then three goalies so those are your retirements and now we're gonna hop into the uh, draft here so let's quickly have a look here uh, who See, look at this Bjorkstrand guy. 74 overall now. That's awesome. Hoping for him to get a lot better over the course of this year. Who else got better? That's the other Dane we got there. Nikolai Elliers. Uh, who else we got? Tobias Enstrom, 86. Vander Kane, 87. Uh, Pierre Larson, all those guys. Brian Little still at 85. We'll put him on the chopping block just to see. You know, there is potential that Mark Scheifele could jump up to an 86, 87, 88 overall player this year. There's nothing that's saying that he could cannot do that. So I might hang on to Brian Little uh, just for the fact that, you know, he uh, he could cold down the, the second line minutes. See, look at Mark Scheifele right now. He's 86 overall. That's awesome. So if we could have Mark Scheifele being, you know, 87, that would be really nice to put on the first line and then have Brian Little as a solid second liner. But before we hop into the, uh, before we hop into the whole thing, the draft, let's actually check out the awards here because we didn't get to check them out last episode. So Stanley Cup, well, actually, there the uh, repeat winners for the third time in four years the LA Kings have hoisted the Stanley Cup above their heads that is crazy the presidents went to Ottawa the Clarence went to the Kings uh, the Rangers also is the Kings and the Rangers in the Stanley Cup finals the back-to-back -back again wow that's crazy uh, Sidney Crosby wins won the Art Ross back-to-back -back. Uh, Mario Lemieux wins his I don't even know how many heart trophies he's got but add a, another one there Bobby Orr won the Norris uh, Steven Stamkos won the Lady Bing. Pavel Bure wins the Calder. Uh, Con Smythe went to Jonathan Quick. Back-to-back uh, -back Kings. Justin Williams won it last year. Um, his second Con Smythe. Wow. Vesna Trophy went to Jonas Hiller. Uh, William M. Jennings went to the King. Henrik Lundqvist. Bill Mas 
Ashton went to Erica Branson. Paolo Datsuk won the Paolo Datsuk Trophy. Ted Lindsay went to Crosby, of course. The Rocket went to uh, Patrick Hornquist. And then the Kings won the Stanley Cup. So we can go ahead and hop into the draft. I want to look at the players uh, who are available in this draft. There's a bunch of you guys telling me to go after this Malosh guy. I believe his name is Malosh, or I don't even know how to pronounce it. But he's some defenseman you guys are telling me I cannot sleep on. And here he is. He is the best defenseman in the draft, it looks like. We got Ryan Pilon here, uh, a bunch of other players, but no really big name defenseman like Nicholas Malosh. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. You can let me know if I am or not, but Nicholas Malosh. He looks sick. I've seen him get really good. I just don't want to rate, you know, we're going to have a top five pick, so I don't want to, you know, waste a pick. If we have, you know, we could go after Strom or Matthew Barzil if we have a top two pick, but I think we're going to be in the four to five range. So maybe Nicholas Malosh will be our dude. I'm, I mean, what kind of goaltenders are out there? Uh, any goals here. So Austin Lotz and this Brassard guy are the only top fives available. Uh, where else is a creasy prospect game? I don't think we can. Oh, yes, we can. Okay, so prospect game. Pancel's a 70 overall. Who else is really high overall here? Looking for the 70. See, Malosh is only 61 overall, but if you guys are right, you guys are saying, don't sleep on this guy. Pick him up. He will change your defensive core forever. And I think I'm going to have to believe you guys here. Barzil, 66 overall. Overall, Austin Lotz is 73. Broussard is 69. What else do we got here? Uh, obviously, Connor McDavid's going at number one. 74 overall. There's no question there. Uh, that's it for that one. So I'm not going to go after McDavid. If we somehow happen to snag the first overall pick, I will go after Connor McDavid. If he's the best player available, I will pick him. See, the Detroit Red Wings are going to have the first overall pick. They're going to lose their franchise player in Pavel Datsu. And gonna gain another one in Connor McDavid. So your top five is uh, Detroit, New Jersey, Edmonton, San Jose, and Winnipeg. So let's have a look here. Uh, we actually got a, got a call from Detroit. Uh, two seconds, or sorry, a second and a third for Brian Little. See his cap at four point seven for four more years. I don't want him to go down and be completely untradeable. But I'm holding on to Brian Little for right now. Let's see if there's any. Uh, teams that are, you know, giving anything away or maybe another pick we can snag here like a uh, like a late 19th. See if there's anyone who we can pick up there. Uh, we could get rid of... See, look at Tobias Enstrom. He's 30 years old, 86 overall, but 5.75. That is crazy. We could look to move Tobias Enstrom for a cheaper defenseman. Maybe someone a bit younger, because we do have some players coming up. What about Hampus Lindholm? He's 84 overall. What about that? Hampus Lindholm? That probably won't go through as it is and they don't want to get rid of them so I don't want to I don't want to go to their door and ask for a player who they you know they don't really want to give away but let me have a quick look around the NHL here see if there's any young and it See if there's any young defensemen we could trade. You know, kind of just, kind of just uh, save some cap because that cap, 5.7, that is, uh, that's quite a bit. So, so I'm gonna have a look here if there's any younger sort of defenseman I can squeeze out, and I'll see if I can make a trade happen. All right. So what about this? I see the reason why I'm okay with moving Tobias Enstrom is because we have some really good defensive prospects coming up. Trub is already at 84. Look how high his trade, his trade value is. He's 21 years old, 84 overall, and if we could move him for a player like Jamie Alexiak, who is really young, absolutely massive, 6'7", 250 pounds. He could be the big defensive force on this team. He's not going to put up many numbers at all. Had a terrible year in Dallas last year, minus 33. He, need, he needs a new home. What about him and a second round pick? Uh, that might be a bit much. It'll, it'll probably piss them off, and I only have two phones. Can I try for for a third, Alexiak and a third for Tobias Enstrom. Oh, it did not go through. See, I don't want to screw this up. I mean, I have other chances, but I do want to make sure that we could snag him out of Dallas. That's actually the perfect player. And I mean, we're saving a lot of cap. He's got one year left on his... Or, 
we're gonna have to re-sign him this year. So that's even not that big of a, uh, that big of a deal at all. You know what? If I could squeeze a fourth, uh, it really doesn't matter. The trade values are relatively even. Let's just go Alexiak for Enstrom. There you go. Thank you, Dallas. We've made the one move. Uh, cleared up some defensemen. Uh, Flynn. Okay, good. He's still available. Wow. Okay. So, so we got rid of Tobias Enstrom. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to do. His price tag was crazy, and that saves us. You know, if we want to go pick someone up in free agency, we definitely can. So now, what about this Malosh guy? Is he the real deal? What is he looking like? Malosh, he's only three star, but I didn't really scout the Q too well. Uh, Dylan Strom. Oh, we could get a number one centerman, but we you know we have Mark Shifley coming up. Dylan Strom, or is it go Ryan Pilon or Malosh? What are you guys thinking here? On multiple occasions, I've seen Pilon get you know only like 82, 83 overall. First hand, I have seen Malosh get really good. So I think it's a defenseman. Look at this guy. Uh, I think it's a defenseman who we're going to, to pick though. One's 17, one's 18, one's from the dub, one's from the Q. I think we're going to go with Nicholas Malosh here. You guys are telling me to pick him up. Hopefully I didn't make the wrong choice. Nicholas Malosh, where did uh, where did he go? Okay, so Ryan Pilon went to. Um, Ryan Pilon went to the Wild and Strom went to the Canucks. So that is kind of cool. We have actually actually have another first round pick here. So let's see if I can uh, try to find another player here. Who? So we picked a defenseman last time. Let's go for a forward this time. We actually have two Russian players here. We have uh, Korostelov or Sam Babinsnev. Uh, I'm going to go, let's see here. There's another offensive defenseman, Yuri Z Yuri Nazarov, lots of uh, Russians here. But, you know, I picked a uh, defenseman last time. I'm going to go with a right-wing playmaker here. 20 years old, Sam Babinsev. Sam Babinsev. So he's going to come to our team. There you go, Sam. Welcome to the Winnipeg Jets. Jason De Silva went there. Wapple went to the, uh, went to the LA Kings. Uh, Alexiak for Tobias Enstrom. There we go. Got a lot younger there. I'm happy with that move. You guys will see Alexiak be a monster, I promise you. Uh, I mean, the reason why I wanted to pull that one off, because I'm doing another GM mode with Vancouver, and this Alexiak guy is like 91 overall. At 6'7", it's crazy. He's actually just a monster. Uh, what other players are available here? Any uh, goaltenders? Since we are, do need to get a goaltender, that's definitely not out of the question. Uh, we have a couple second round picks actually, so maybe I'll use a later second to get one of the goaltenders. Uh, Nathan Noel, playmaker, defensive defenseman, Paul Bittner. We've had Paul Bittner and he got to be like nothing over so long. He sucked. Uh, with this guy, four stars, uh, 17 year old center sniper from Vancouver in the WHL. There you go. Welcome. Now we'll pick a goalie with this pick. Uh, I don't know what goalie we're going to go after, but I do want to get a goalie regardless. So, uh, Lee Payton. Lee, he's also from Vancouver. Take back to back Vancouver pick. Brandon Hope from uh, 2BC's GMO. We know he gets to be like 85 overall. I'm not going to take him though. Uh, Cotton, who do I want to pick? Lee? Let's go with Lee. He's 18 years old. Or do we go with uh, Justin Miles? Uh, there's a lot of different, there's a lot of players here. I can always pick one up later, but let's go with Peyton Lee here. Back to back Vancouver picks. Coming to Winnipeg. We have two third round picks as well. So there's a lot. Lots, uh, lots of things to be done here. Brian Little for a first. They want to give me a first for Brian Little. And that's a Detroit first, guys. That's a Detroit first round pick. You notice how bad Detroit was last year. They had the, oh man, this could be, see, this is bad. This is something that I didn't want to happen at all. See, they finished last this year, okay? They were the last place team. They got Connor McDavid. Ah, uh, God. Were they really that bad? Check the goaltenders. Maybe maybe they traded for that pick. How did Jimmy Howard do? I can kind of look here. Uh, 25, yeah, they were one of the worst teams. So it was not just uh, they did not trade for that pick. They were a bad team. So... Oh man, what do we do here? This could be a potential, this could be a really big pick for us. But I don't want to trade Brian Little because then that leaves us out of a second line centerman spot because oh, this is just a rough decision to make. Because if I trade him, we have a, a, we have Mark Shifley and absolutely nobody else. Nick Patan, who's a 75 overall player. I don't know if I can do that. Can I swing a deal for someone else? Do they do they want Brian Little? They do want Brian Little. That's a thing. They want Little. What if I give you like Mark Stewart and like 
oh no, <laughs> I just, I want to, you know, I want to make that deal happen. I would love their first for next year. That would be awesome. Uh, I don't think they're going to want Mark Stewart, and that's really not going to add up. Uh, I don't want to give away Brian Little because then that would screw us over, and there's no guarantee, you know, that we're going to have a, and, you know, I can't do that. I can't do that. As much as I want to, I cannot do that. Like, there's, there's no guarantee that we're going to be able to get someone in free agency that can be, that can fill his role. So I'm going to go ahead and skip on that. Uh, Thomas Foster, a centerman. Nick Spavento. I oh, also got here. Let's go after another defenseman here. Let's go Sebastian Gauthier. Uh, he's from Shawinigan of the Q. There you go. Welcome to Winnipeg. And if that, if that Sprong guy is still available, I will pick him. Uh, no, he's not. He was just picked. Yeah, he was just selected. Even though I know he gets to be pretty pretty good, I thought I would uh, give him a shot. But we'll give... Uh, who else here? Let's get Devin McAndrew. 6'4", 210, right wing... Left wing grinder, there you go. Welcome to Winnipeg. And then we'll hop into the re-sign here. So I, I, you know, I feel like maybe trading Brian Little might have been smart to get the first overall pick, you know, potentially a first overall pick for for next year. But, you know, I can't do that to myself quite yet. So let's get the re-sign stage done. You guys know I like to skip over it, so I will see you guys in a minute. All right, so here are our rookies from this year, and you guys were right. Four and a half gold star for Nicholas Malosh, or Malache, however you want to pronounce this guy's name, but 17 years old, four and a half gold star, 61 overall. Uh, this guy, Bear is a four star. We got this guy uh, Nikolai Elliott, that was from last year. Uh, this guy is 62, 67. That big grinder guy is a three and a half star. Nick Patan. And those are all of our picks from this year. I believe that's all of them. Oh no, this, this guy. Four star, 64 overall. That's awesome. What goaltenders did we pick? Uh, there's that Peyton Lee guy. Four and a half red stars. 66 overall. Alright, maybe we, we found a late gem here. I don't know if the uh, the red stars progress well or not because I haven't really had too many four red star goaltenders but I do want to check the uh, Minnesota Wild to see what Ryan Pilon turned out to be because that could have been a huge mistake not taking uh, Pilon. Where is the Wild actually? Minnesota. There it is. So see Minnesota here. Uh, Pilon. Where is he? Pilon, buddy, where you at? Uh, Pilon, no, rookie skaters, you're just not here. Pilon, there he is, 63 overall, a pretty much the exact same player, except he's one year older and two overalls better than uh, Nicholas Malosh. So that's really not a cr not too bad. Uh, you know, I just I I went with my gut there, and I went with I went with what you guys told me, and hopefully it turns out. To not to pay off here. So Ryan Strom went to Vancouver. He was the player who we also were going to pick. He is 61 overall at four and a half stars as well. So let me quickly do the re-sign here and then we will hop into the offseason. This guy also, Sebastian Gauthier, was the 59 overall defenseman. He turned out to be four stars as well. So our prospect pool is looking very, very nice here in, in Winnipeg. All right, so the re-sign stage is now complete. Let's see if there's anyone in free agency that we could pick up. Our G your GM rep has now gone up. You now have a, a third phone. That's awesome. Keaton Ellerby, TJ Galliardi, all of these guys should be back on the team. I think I give everyone a pretty fair contract. Uh, oh, full roster. Oh, I got a full roster. Really? All right. So I might have to... Uh, they're just the rookies, so I can always re-sign them afterwards. But, uh, ooh, Brendan Gallagher is a free agent, hey? 85 overall. Huh. Maybe, I don't know if he's an RFA or not, but maybe if we could uh, get his contract under, you know, three and a half million, we could we could only pay like a second round pick. That wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Uh, we'll check out Brendan Gallagher because that would be perfect. That would be prime, actually, if we could get Brendan Gallagher. Uh, we do have 39 skaters, though, so we may have to trade somebody here. But Brendan Gallagher, 2.9, 85 overall. He's a good... Uh, British Columbia boy. My girlfriend actually went to school with him. Uh, Brendan Gallagher. That might Cody Franzen as well. Wow, there is some uh, there is some players in free agency this year. Brad Richardson, Sean Mathias. Vancouver took a hit. They lost two players there. Uh, but Brendan Gallagher. Let's see if we could get him for like three point four. I don't want to pay a, a first round pick. This year's second round pick was all we have to pay to get Brendan Gallagher. That might not be a bad idea. Sorry, you want a two year. 
years at, I, could I give you 3.5 or would that give me the option to give you a first round pick? Okay, 3.5, I feel like that's a, a very fair deal for Brendan Gallagher. So that'd be sick if he could come to our team. Oh my God, that would be awesome. Brendan Gallagher, could you could you imagine that? 85 overall, young right winger, that would be just sick. Go ahead and give Hetherington a contract. Uh, Christopher Clapperton, no way, not happening, buddy. Uh, goalies, uh, any, any prospect tendies out there? Uh, Brendan Burke, why not give you a contract, buddy? Uh, and that should be fine. So let's see if Brendan Gallagher is going to come to the team. I mean, I think he'll accept it. It's just whether Montreal... Uh, okay, so Dylan Dylan Hetherington is not coming to uh, to our team. That's fine. Well, whatever. But uh, I think he's going to accept it. I mean, I know he is. Uh, oh, wow. Brendan Burke, why do you do not want to come to our team? I mean, I understand why. But uh, Brendan Gallagher has decided to accept our offer, but it's not done just yet. I am unable to join because blah, blah, blah. Uh, we've got to see if uh, the Montreal Canadiens want to give him up or not. Uh, they are not... Not willing to match your offer. Oh my god, Brendan Gallagher. Welcome to Winnipeg. Oh boy, so we gotta give up a second round pick. That's so small. That's not even a, I'm not even worried about that. Oli Jokinen's a free agent. Oh, actually, he just got re-signed. <laughs> just the second that I saw him there, he was totally gone. There goes our chances to get him. Uh, but that's actually awesome. We got him. Oh man, Brendan Gallagher. Gallagher, welcome, welcome to the squad. I was not expecting to get that at all, but I will definitely take it, that is sick. So I'm gonna skip to the uh, start of the regular season here. I will see you guys then. So I'm actually gonna try to see if we could squeeze D'Angelo out of Tampa Bay. They wanna get rid of him. He, I've seen him get to be like 91, 92 overall on multiple occasions. Here we can trade two of the players in which we drafted this year. Alec Bear, we drafted him in the second round and this guy I believe was a third round pick uh yeah he was no sorry he was a fifth round pick 59 overall if we could squeeze D'Angelo for these two players that would be the trade of the century might have to check like a third round pick in there but will this go through it did go through oh my god that was too easy I did not think it would be that easy welcome D'Angelo our defensive core is set holy shit I am stoked for this GM mode let's go to the start of the year all right I just wanted to welcome you back for another year at the helm of the Winnipeg Jets I was a bit surprised by some of your actions or lack thereof. What do you mean, man? I made two huge moves uh, in the offseason. I hope you know what you're doing. I'm expecting 37 wins out of you this year. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, this video is quite long. I actually just took about a 10 minute break to go watch the end of the Super Bowl. Uh, the What a crazy ending. Unfortunately, my Seahawks lost. I'm not a huge football fan, but you know, I, you know, I do follow it a little bit and I am a, uh, a Seahawks fan because obviously I live in Vancouver. But anyways, back to this GM mode. I'm all pumped up about that. All right, so let's check out the lines for this year for year number two for our Winnipeg Jets. We have our prospects in place. We should probably get a couple more offensive prospects, but here we go. So, oh, Mark Shifley, 88. Oh my God, that's sick. He jumped to an 88 this year at 22 years old. Okay, so there's our first line center problem completed. It's over now. Mark Shifley in 88. So there's our first line completely set. Evander Kane, Mark Shifley, and Timu Solani. We got Andre Palat, Brian Little and Brendan Gallagher uh, probably gonna have to boost up the third line. Yeah, I'll probably go find someone in via trade either the start of the next episode or the, or uh, at the end of this episode. Uh, defensively though, it's looking like Jimmy Alexiak's at 83 now. Truba's an 86. That's nice. Bogosian, Bufflin. That's actually sick. Our defensive core is looking very, very nice. Goaltenders, we didn't do anything for the goaltenders. I want to roll with James Reimer for this year. We'll see what he can do. You know, I I've seen him get to be really good. If not, we should trade for a number one overall goaltender in, you know, either next episode or the episode after that. And then basically, we need to get some, some more depth, and we're definitely going to be set. We're going to be an amazing team pretty quick here. We have all the pieces in place aside from a starting goalie right now. So you look at our uh, prospects wise. Let's go to rookie goalies. We got Eric Comrie. He is our dude. He is the prodigy. He's going to be coming up. Hopefully, he can be the player that we need. Uh, we have this guy. I don't even know who he is. We drafted him, I guess, uh, this year. Capo Karanen. He's 73 overall. I didn't even know that we drafted this guy. And we got... Uh 
Peyton Lee. So we have the goaltending prospects that are definitely there. Rookie skaters, we have Malosh, we have Nikolai Elliers, A Anthony D'Angelo, Bjorkstrand, we have Nicholas Patan, Gauthier, all of these guys, we are definitely set. You know, it's not the best because there's teams out there like Vancouver, for example. Look at all their rookie skaters. You know, they have, they definitely have it stacked. So, you know, our prospect pool is pretty good. This video has been crazy long, so I'm going to cut it here, but we got a lot of stuff done. Let me know what you think about it and I will see you guys in the next one. I want to see lots of comments down there. We're going to have to go after a starting goaltender and maybe some third line depth. So if you have any suggestions, go ahead and let me know. Let me know what you thought about the moves and I will see you guys in the next one.